Cherie Hansen here. Um, I wanted to share with you a lovely moment that I had yesterday. I had finished watering my lawn and as usual uh, overestimated and so there was a puddle on the sidewalk. Um, as I was standing and pruning my roses and that kind of thing, a man came along with his little bouncy daughter <laughs> behind him and she was just adorable she was so in the moment um, I think she must have been about three and uh, she came to the puddle and she had sandals on and she just lit up she started to bounce in the puddle because her feet were getting wet she could feel her toes getting wet she just ran back and forth and bounced in it and she was having um, an exquisite moment and it was interesting to watch both her father and I turn and look at her and I could see him light up and I could feel me light up and <laughs> then I got this uh, just this radiant flush of love and I thought to myself there it is <laughs> there's everything we're looking for and how did she get it she got it because she was totally herself she was totally in the moment she was totally engaged in just exploring and enjoying life uh, so I went to my Heliopsis plant and broke off a yellow flower for her and I asked her dad if it was okay if I gave it to her and she took it and she just held it up and she bounced in the pool of water and she was an absolute explosion of everything it means to be alive. <laughs> and I thought today, as I'm looking at so much of what people are uh, going through in their own minds, in their own lives, about how the struggle is always in your own relationship with yourself. Um, you're not good enough. You're not good enough for yourself. You're not good enough to accept yourself. You didn't do enough. Uh, you get into a state where you're always observing and criticizing and wanting somebody to <laughs> scoop you up in their arms and just cuddle the, and I'm going to say this, I mean it literally, cuddle the hell out of you. Cuddle the devil out of you cuddle the anger out of you and what we have to remember as we go through all of this is it's this relationship with ourselves that's the one that we're working on because if we're already okay with who we are uh, you know all the imperfections all the horrible <laughs> dramas and angers and frustrations and and uh, reactive uh, horrific behaviors if we can learn to accept that and if we can learn to say you know i'm going to do better next time i see myself acting out i see myself being uh something that i don't appreciate or enjoy but i'm human and so we put our arms around ourselves and we look for all of the things that we are doing that are full of heart. And children can teach us what those moments look like. To be able to walk along the sidewalk and uh, find a puddle that is reflecting the upside down dark trees and just start bouncing instead of 
having your mind go into the future and ask what's going to happen next, what's going to happen to me, who's going to protect me, um, you know, why isn't everything just the way I want it? Uh, the reason everything isn't the way, exactly the way you want it is because you're not jumping in the puddle. <laughs> And that was what the child taught me yesterday. Bless her heart. What a beautiful moment. Get out there and find a moment to just be alive.